friends, it's Moose, and thank you so much for joining me back here today. I'm so excited for this reading vlog that we're starting. We're going to be reading one of my favorite books, When in Rome by Sarah Adams. I have read this one before, so this is kind of a rereading vlog, um, overall thoughts, review, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be a vlog, so I'm going to talk about it as I read through it. So it's not just like a sit down and chat video. But I have read this book before, so it's not like my first time reading this book kind of vlog. I plan to go through and annotate as I read through it this time, specifically the uh, like the swoon-worthy moments and the funny moments. So the, mo the moments that make me laugh out loud, the moments that make me swoon. So those are the ones that I'm going to be focused on annotating. I love this book. It's a clean rom-com. So Amelia is a famous pop star who is kind of run down in her famous life and decides to go to Rome, Kentucky, um, which is kind of just an off the wall place to get away from everything for a while. She doesn't tell any, anyone where she's going, how long she's gonna be gone or anything like that. She just takes this trip on her own um, for some time alone. And she ends up breaking down in front of Noah Walker's house in his front yard. Um, and she's kind of like forced to stay with him and stuff like that. It's great. It's so swoon worthy. I want to talk about it as we read. I'll try not to make it super full of spoilers or anything like that. Um, Cause I do want this to kind of be accessible to anybody, whether you've read this or not. Um, but I will share with you some favorite moments, some favorite lines that maybe made me laugh out loud, that kind of stuff. So I'm excited and we'll get into it. Hey friends, I'm starting it tonight. Um, I just got to my first funny part i chuckled out loud even though i've already read this book i was going to use orange for funny and pink for steamy but i'm only on chapter one and already have two oranges and i only have one left so i think i'm going to use orange and maybe green for funny and then purple and pink for steamy swoony. I only expected to read one chapter tonight, but the next chapter is a Noah chapter. And the male protagonist is always my favorite point of view. So I'm gonna go ahead and read this one too. Just one more chapter. Okay. I know I said one more chapter, but the next chapter is a Noah chapter again. So like, I have to read it. I found my first pink moment. Like, apparently I can't talk and do this at the same time. Good old eye contact to build some tension. That's what I'm talking about. Hey friends, it is Thursday, <laughs> Thursday night. It's a little after 10, so not quite as late as it has been, but I don't want to stay up as late as I have been. Um, I'm starting chapter 10, uh, and it's an Amelia chapter. Still loving it just as much as I can go around. We're getting um, some more tension, some more steam, and I'm loving it. I got my first couple of steamy notes, so... I'm liking it again. <laughs> oh, I suck at this. This is the first time I've tried annotating anything. And I got so caught up in reading that I have been forgetting <laughs> to annotate, but I <laughs> I finally remembered, so I'm gonna do something else. idea how well you can hear me but it is our last day here at the beach I'm trying to finish when in Rome and I've lost my sticky tabs <laughs> so I'm still gonna highlight and I think I have more tabs at home so I can go through and fix them later I 
know it's buried, it's what I'm saying. <laughs> hey friends, I'm home. We're home from the beach and uh, I currently have a migraine, but I'm waiting for my husband to come upstairs and get ready for bed. Um, we always read a chapter of the Bible together before bedtime, so I'm just waiting on him. So I'm going to read a little bit. I read a chapter last night. I'm on chapter 27. Less than 100 pages left. I'm loving it so far. I was laughing and giggling out loud last night and my husband was kind of looking at me like I was a little crazy. He's often gone a lot whenever I read really funny books, but that's where I'm at. I hope to finish this week. My goal is this week. It is Wednesday. I'm getting to the part where they like they just admit that they're in love and they both know it and they they just admit it to themselves and they're like enjoying their moments together but it's all coming to a head and like they know that they can't stay together and it's just making me sad <laughs> it's making me sad hey friends it is Tuesday, May 16th. This is taking way longer than I wanted it to. I am almost finished with Wind in Rome. I am on page 250 or 248. Um, less than like 100 pages less. I think I have around 50 left. I think it's right over 300, I want to say. So I'm almost there. <laughs> Here are all of my tabs. Uh, there are... I don't know, I'd say there's about an equal amount of funny and, sw and swoony moments in here so far. Um, and I am loving it all over again. I'm still loving it. My goal is to finish it by the end of this week, preferably the next couple of days. We'll see how that goes. I'm taking three classes this summer, this semester. It's kind of a lot. It's like a, a larger workload than usual, so I haven't had a ton of time to read, but we'll see how it goes. friends i'm in the home stretch i'm here with ellie you say hi mm -hmm. we just had a little snacky snack oh she's waving you say hi mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm in the home stretch page 255 everything's coming to a head everything's happening the important things are happening and i'm excited it is thursday so i i hope to finish this tonight my friend is wanting to borrow it because she bought Practic Practice Makes Perfect and uh, didn't realize it was part of like a series. So I told her, I was like, hey, you should read this one first before you read that one and you would probably enjoy it more. So I'm going to finish it tonight so I can let her borrow it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to read Ellie's playing and I, I will let you know how it goes. But I'm at the moment. I'm at the moment where they're like coming together. A fit, like, you know, it's happening. I'm so excited. <laughs> hey, friends, I finished. I loved it just as much the second time. This is one of my favorite romantic comedy books by one of my favorite authors. I love Sarah Adams. I love anything by her. I'm so excited to read the next one and I'm so happy that I reread this one. Um, this was my first time going through and annotating anything so uh, bear with me. I hope I hope it wasn't too bad. I do plan to do a similar type blog, vlog for Practice Makes Perfect and I'll go through and annotate that one as well and I think I'll do a little bit better that time because I'll kind of have a better idea of the kinds of things that I like to look for. It is so loud in my neighborhood in my house right now. I'm sorry. Overall, I enjoy it. I enjoy Sarah Adams' writing style. If you're looking for a clean kind of fade to black romance with all this all the steam and uh sizzle without all the spice i think she is a great option i can't get enough of her the ending i, f I feel like is satisfying enough without being too like over the, the top cliche or anything like that um this does not maybe this is a bit of a spoiler but it doesn't end in like a marriage or anything it's just more so realistic um which i loved 
I love Sarah Adams' writing style. I love the humor that she has, the witty banter. Just overall, she's fantastic. If you haven't read anything by her yet, I highly recommend. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe down below and leave a comment. Let me know if you've read this book before, if you've read any of other Sarah Adams books before. You guys are awesome and I'm so blessed to have you here on my channel and we'll be back here next time. See ya!